Hello YouTube and welcome diecast enthusiasts. For this video we've got a green light box opening and it's from the Fire and Rescue Series 1. So this is a brand new series. Um, from what I've seen this is a pretty good selection so it'd be interesting to see these for the first time. Um, I do collect quite a few of the Hot Pursuit vehicles so I will probably go after these fire and rescues. It's good that Greenlight have started a new series. Another series I'm looking forward to, not sure if they'll be out this year, is the Lowriders. So it's good that they're investing in something new to excite us collectors. And the first one from the box is this 2017 Ram 3500 Dooley Los Angeles County Fire Department truck. And this is quite a long vehicle actually. It looks pretty good with the tow bar. It looks quite a big tow bar on there but not too bad, nothing that's going to put me off it. You can see the Los Angeles County Fire Department and the logos on the door. So that's a pretty good truck and I like the the logo or the backing card they've used sort of a fire station building with the red doors and the obviously the fire station logo there so yeah pretty pleased with that one they're all as good as that I'd be very happy the next one is this 1987 Chevrolet M1008 Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota Fire Department. You can see it there on the door. Looks quite striking in the white and yellow. And we've got the emergency light bar there on the roof. I like the wheels with this. I do like these quite deep inset white wheels. Smart white bumper. No tow hook on this and push bar bumper on the front. Black bed there in the back. But again, that is a nice truck and of course with the same backing card that I've said just now does look quite smart. So yeah, pretty pleased with that one. Oh, not my light over, sorry. And here we have the 1990 Jeep Cherokee, Reno, Nevada Fire Department. Take a closer look at it. Safety and training vehicle. Quite a lot of silver paint around that door mirror area, but not a major problem of course. I do like the wheels on this Jeep as well. Just 
got painted or clamp or printed lights on the front and tempo on the back. Seems to be some white residue dust of some sort, almost like a white powder on the back. Got the emergency lights on the roof. Yeah, nice. This one's very smart. The 1986 Chevrolet C20 Custom Deluxe, Lawrenceburg, Indiana Fire Department. First attack unit there, the text on the rear. see the Lawrenceburg Company 3 Fire Department on the door. Again the emergency lights on the roof. Nice front to it with the spotlights and push bar. Never know if they're called a push bar or a ball bar. They, they were called a ball bar in the UK. I don't know if that was the same in the States and Canada. But we've got a lot of detail in the back there with a hose on a reel. Maybe a toolbox. So that's a nice feature to have something, a load almost on the bed. Again, I like the white deep set wheels on this one. So, yep, that's definitely a nice one. Got two more. This one is the 1992 Ford F350 East Brookfield. Massachusetts forestry truck. Again the East Brookfield forestry letter in there on the door along with the American flag there on the front wing and the F-350 badge Emergency 911 printed on the rear end. Again, we've got the emergency lights on the roof there, which all of these, I believe, have carried emergency lights, which I suppose would be quite natural being a fire vehicle. Um, this is the final one and it's the 2020 Ford Police Interceptor Utility Chicago Fire Department. I've seen a few of these utility SUVs I suppose we could call them. Battalion Chief there on the door. And the initials on the rear door. Can't quite unfortunately read that gold script lettering on the front wing. I'll give up trying, sorry. Otherwise this video, well I can see we're already at 10 minutes so 
don't want to spend another 10 minutes looking at some text on a front wing but it's quite nice this interceptor utility with the again emergency light bar on the roof so all in all this has been quite a good series I would say for the first one you can see what we've seen there like the whole series and I may well be I'll just take away the box. I'm going to put them in order of preference. It's going to probably be quite difficult this one. I'm going to put the interceptor in sixth as we've seen that before on probably in hot pursuit etc. Gonna say in fifth the Jeep Cherokee. In fourth the Ford F three fifty. In third the big Ram three five hundred. In second this lovely yellow Chevrolet. But star of the show and I think it's because of the detailing in the back it's the Chevrolet C20 Custom Deluxe so this has been the Fire and Rescue Series 1 pretty smart all in all so just obviously take care stay safe and bye for now